Good morning. We are the Life Motivators. We come in here each day, no matter where we're at or what we're doing. We stop and we make sure that we get in here and connect with the world, with the people, with these entrepreneurs that you see the faces this morning. Each day, we're all doing something different within our life, but yet the same, because we all got up and started with I love you. I love you. And then also, we planned out a goal, a list of things that we want to accomplish. <laughs> Because we know we have the greatness within us to be able to take care of the things that we need to take care of. And as we're rolling throughout this day and we start marking things off of our list and says, that, all right, we've accomplished that one. What does that make us feel? Greater with inside. We have tapped into that power that we have within. And then we know that we are able to do whatever we need to do today. So we go on to that next task and then we knock it out. So this evening makes you feel even better with that self-accomplishment on the task that you do today. We are greatness within. You don't have to go buy this power. You're not going to go find this power. You're not going to try to unlock this power. This power is within you and all you have to do is just say, you know what, today I'm going to let my greatness shine. I'm gonna let my inner self be the best it can be today. As I unlock all the things that I want to do and I've got the physical abilities to do it, I've got the knowledge to do it, and then you want to say, well, how do you have all the knowledge to be able to take care of all these things? Because I tap into the universe every morning with greatness and say, thank you for this day that my eyes are open. And then I have another wonderful life to live, to be able to come out here and enjoy this co-creative moment with everybody within here as we mastermind this morning, to be able to bring out the inspiration to each and every individual within here, to be the better version of yourself today than you were yesterday, to be able to bring out the greatness within you of those ideas that you're having and you're going to start learning how to write them down, harness them on a piece of paper as you're journaling each day. Because these stories that you keep getting these downloads in your head of different things that are going on, start capturing them. And as you capture them, you'll see their bits and pieces of your life and the greatness that you have within for the things that you can take care of, not just for you, but could be for the world. Because those ideas that you have, as most people think, they're crazy. They're too big. There's no way. I'm just one little bitty man. There's no way I could accomplish all of that. If we ask you to do 50 sit-ups today, are you going to do them all at once? Or could you spread them out throughout the day and accomplish all 50? Because as you spread out those 50 sit-ups today, you're spreading them out for all day. So that greatness that you have in, within you it's not a boost of energy that's going to come for one hour and then you have it and your greatness is here and then it's gone for the rest of the day. Your greatness is within you all day, every day, 365 days. It never walked away. It never left you. You were the only one that put up a wall to block greatness when you needed it because of self-doubt or fear. You start removing those walls and understanding that you have the power over that fear. You have the power over that self-doubt, anxiety, and, and depression, all that stuff. You have the power to say, I am greatness today, and I will walk in greatness today. I will take those steps one after another because I see somebody else walking right beside me that knows that I have everything that I need. Many people cannot see or understand the spiritual realms of world that is around you every day. The energies, the, the emotions, the feelings, that is all part of the spiritual realm that is with you every day to either protect you or either give you the knowledge or to give you the inspiration that you need. And as you walk with it every day, then you know that you are not alone in anything that you're doing because you have greatness within you, around you at all times. You put that mindset to that. You put that thought process to that. And as you move throughout this day, you will know that you are nothing but greatness. The smile that you have an effect on people, just that smile. As you walk by, a stranger on the street in the grocery store could change their attitude completely and you don't even know it. Just a nice gesture of, hello, how's your day going? It's a beautiful day. I like the shirt you're wearing. Your hair looks nice today. I like those shoes. They look good on you. Something of a small acknowledgement to that person. Maybe something that they never even got within their life from anybody else, especially the ones that they live with or they love. Are they hold to a higher standard to anybody else, but yet they don't hold theirself to that higher standard? Do not hold anybody higher than yourself. You are nothing but power. You are nothing but greatness. You need to look in the mirror and know each day that you are nothing but that. And when you go out in the world, do that, feel it all day long because no one can take that away from you. 
that power that we have, you were born with it. We talk about that all the time. These creative ideas that we have within our head, they're there for a reason. The way you were brought up is not the way that you have to live your life. You have the power to break the chains of this DNA chain that you think is a curse. This is a family curse, or this is me, or this is the way my life has always been. Cool. If you don't like it that way, then you don't have to make the rest of it that way. If you lived your life in this way for so long of that self-doubt, depression, and fear, anxiety, whatever it was, and you are not greatness enough, you know, I don't have all that knowledge. I don't have all that skill. That is a thought process that you have put into your head because you do have the skills, you do have the knowledge, you do have the physical abilities. You are the one that is putting those hampered words of saying, oh, well, I don't, ha I don't have that talent. I can't do that. You put that limiting, limited belief to yourself. Nobody else did. We're here in the morning times to let you know that you have that power. You have that creative ability to take yourself to that next level. If you want that, go for it. Because anything else in life that you truly desire, you really wanted it, what did you do? You found a way. You made it happen. So if you want betterness within your life, then start treating yourself better. Start talking to yourself better. Start acting like a better person. Because if you keep acting like you always did, then guess what? You will get the same results that you always did. We have to change some new habits within our life to make things grow, make us go into a different direction. Because if we don't put ourselves in that direction, you will stay in the same position that you are now complaining about life next year. We only have a few more months left in this year already. 2020 is right around the corner. It has flown by just like that. Guess what? You can change your life just like that too. Because it is a thought process that you put to it. The words that we speak in here in the morning, talking about being better, telling ourselves we're going to be better, have greatness within our life. This is something you have to do all day long, not just in the mornings, all day long. Say, so you know what? This situation is happening, but it's okay. I'm going to find a solution because it is not a problem within my life. It is just a situation, small little roadblock. When y'all are going to the airport to get on an airplane. And then all of a sudden you've been on the airplane for 45 minutes sitting on the tarmac. And they say, we won't be able to take off for another 45 minutes because we're having electrical problems. Do you get off and go to the stewardess and say, I want to go get another ticket. I want another airplane. I don't trust this one. No, 98% or 99% of people sit right there, bitch and complain. And then when it finally leaves, then it's like, oh, okay, good. Yay. But you did nothing but complain the whole time instead of putting good energy to what's going on. Hey, they're having electrical problems. Good. All right, universe, give these guys the knowledge they need to fix this problem so this plane will fly, fly safely and get us to point A to point B. Gave good thoughts to it. Are you giving yourself good thoughts today as well? Knowing, oh, man, I've got some bad pains in my feet today. Oh, I can't do anything today. I've got too, too many pains. I can't even walk. No. I got up every day and I said, you know what? This pain is here, but I'm going to overcome this pain and I will walk today. I will make this happen within my life. What are you speaking over you? If you want better health, speak better health. If you want a better love in life, speak better love within life. If you want a better love within you, speak better love within you. That is the power. What do you speak over you is what you shall get. I speak greatness over me. I speak greatness over all these people you see on this screen. Why? Because they're getting up and being dedicated to their life each day, coming here each morning to give y'all some more love because they have filled their cups up first and they know how to control their life and roll with their life and put the flow into their life because of the happiness that they've put into their life. They've tapped in and they've stayed in there because they're harnessing this energy that they feel that they didn't understand before. But now they're getting a better understanding of this energy that you have, this power that you have, this greatness that you have. You were born with it. Rock it. 2020 is right around the corner. What are you going to accomplish next year? Where are you going to put yourself? Are you going to build a business? Do you have the financial means put up for it to be able to retire? Do you have all the money put up for your educational platforms or your retirement homes? Do you have everything paid off within your life so you don't have any stress of bills? What are you doing today to set you up for the rest of your life? We do not have to just work and work and work, retire and die. 
we can live, 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 work when we need to. And then when it's time for us to go, then we will make a plan with the higher powers and say, okay, I'm done. I've done everything I can with this physical body. I'm ready to leave. But right now I see some young faces within here. I see some awesome energy within here that still has greatness to be able to bring to the table of this universe to every day because you have a knowledge or you have something that is going to change somebody's life just by a few words, just by a kind gesture. Doesn't matter. You don't know and you'll never know everybody that you're able to affect and touch every day. But that's why we're here is because we have something more to give out every day. Love it. Enjoy it. Have fun with it. It's a good day to have a good day. Go ahead, brother. On top of that, that's, it, I mean, the, the topic at hand, let's put it that way, is it, it, it's, I feel like we, we, we discuss the same topic every single morning, but with a different twist, with different insight, with different forms of depth, depth at different magnitudes. You know, um, because we want to inspire you. We want to encourage you. We want to motivate you for more. The opportunities that, that show themselves are unnumberable. That, that's what I like to look at. Like, they're, they're everywhere. The realities of it is you're not always seeing them. You're not always putting yourself in a position to receive them. Your brain has been so cluttered with worry and stress and anxieties of life and, and, and being overwhelmed by, by the stuff that life throws at all of us, you know? But there's no difference from, from me and Thomas and anybody else on here and you. There's absolutely no difference between any of us except our practices, except our routines and our belief system, you know? So if we can motivate and encourage and inspire somebody to do something great and become that better version you know, of themselves. Why the hell not? Why not? You know, I regard myself as a teacher. I really do. And I don't boast about that. I don't have a degree in teaching. You know, I don't. But for one reason or another, I have been poured into, for one reason or another, since I was a young man, you know, individuals have, have taken me under their wing. I've always been around an, a much older, much more mature group of men. You know, or families, individuals, just learning and receiving, you know. So every single day you have the, the ability to put yourself in a position to receive. It's a choice. Happiness is a choice, you know. Situations happen to all of us and life can get overwhelming. We understand that, you know, but life isn't happening to us, it's happening for us. You know, you can put your, yourself in a position to receive the greatest blessings that, that your brain, you know, probably couldn't fully fathom, you know, but it takes a building of routine. It takes a, you know, a looking in the mirror and facing your own realities, facing your own demons, facing your own faults, challenging yourself, not comparing yourself to any other person, but the person you see in the mirror, but the man or the woman, I try to slay myself on a daily basis, guys. I, I'm being honest with you. If I had a spiritual knife, not physical, because <laughs> I would not hurt myself, but a spiritual knife, I try to slay the person that I was yesterday. And people can boast and say how great I am, but I know my own limits. I know my own capabilities. I don't know what's best for you, nor does Thomas or anybody else speaking, you know, or anybody else who you view as a leader or motivator or an encourager of your life. They don't always know what's best for you, you know? You we don't always know what's best for anybody. All we can do is give suggestions of what we have done within our life and directions that you can go with yours. Take little pieces of what we share out in the morning times here. Start implementing some of those into your life. Start removing some of the bad habits that you dislike when in life and start adding some new habits, some new words, some new processes. We talk about this process of, of talking to ourselves a lot within here. Why? Because this is the first place that he was saying a minute ago that he has to slay every day because these demons, the higher that you get within life, 
the higher light that you start shining out, the darkness wants to start overtaking you again. So it would test you. It will send some more stuff to try to bring you back to their level because they know that you're getting that higher power within. You're tapping into it. And, and it's all of a sudden they're harnessing their power. Oh, no, we got we to gotta send some situations. We got to send something, a roadblock to them. So it gets their mind off of this goodness that they have within them. The demons work in many different shames, shapes, forms, and fashions. Tonality sometimes. Go ahead, brother. Well, uh, you know, we're duty calls, so I have to answer if duty calls. But nonetheless, guys, you know, I, I say all of this because you're facing the realities of the man or the woman in the mirror. That's who you are. Every single day, you're, you're, you're trying to become a bigger, better version of yourself. It takes building the routine. It takes, you know, facing those realities, looking at the ugly forms of you. To, in order to become that better version, you know. That if, if there's something that you should be doing, do it. What's holding you back? Tomorrow isn't promised for you, me, Thomas, or anyone else. It's really not. So why not take advantage of the opportunity that you're alive, that you have breath in your body, that you have vitality within you. You can move, you can touch, you can taste, you can hear, you can see, you can smell. You know, you have all these functions in who you are. So, so why you're alive and well. Tomorrow, you might not be able to walk. Tomorrow, you might not be able to hear. You might not be able to see. You know, so what if happens if, if you've been trying to really finish this book and this book has inspired you, it's changed. You feel it molding your heart. You feel it changing you. Something about you is, is being crafted slightly differently because you're inspired by something that you continue to read. Little by little. And then a week goes by and you realize you haven't picked up that book. You realize you haven't, you haven't kept up with the routine that you started. And then something happens. And you're like, where's my sight going? I, I, God forbid, God forbid something like that happened. But I'll just give you an example. And then you keep putting it off and two and three and four and five days. And a week goes by, two weeks go by. And then you're like, you're like what the heck's going on? You know, and you're like, you know what? I'm going to get back into this routine. And then you wake up tomorrow and you're like, I can't see. What the? You're not going to be able to read. You're not going to be able to receive. You're not going to be able to put yourself in that situation. Tomorrow's not promised. So why not challenge yourself today? Why not motivate yourself today? People, people, let's face it. There's a lot of people that, that aren't as energetic, that aren't, um, they don't always feel good. They don't feel like they're in a positive frame of mind and a positive frame of thinking and a positive form of being. But how did I get to this point? How did we all get to this point of being life motivators? We looked in the mirror. We faced our own realities and we built routines to say, you know what? I might not feel happy today. I might not, you know, uh, feel joyous. I'm, I'm, I might be depressed today. And you might feel that way this morning. Can I tell you that it's okay? You're human. You're human, and guess what? You're going through the motions, my friend, the motions of life that we all must bear, the motions of life that we all take upon us. But we've built a routine. So I want to encourage you in building a routine today. If you don't have a pen, grab a pen, because if it's hard to smile today, put one in your mouth. I guarantee you it'll put a smile on your face. Even if you don't want to, you'll begin to change the muscles in your face just by putting them in. And you'll be like this in a face. And it's like, well, wait, that's a fake smile. That's not real. That's authentic. But it's how you want to feel, right? So begin to practice things that are going to get you out of a dark place. Begin to practice things that are going to encourage you in a different way, be, that are going to bring some light in the midst of darkness. Don't separate yourself. Separation means that, that you're not going to be encouraged that you're not going to be motivated, that you might not see the light because you're sitting in a dark place. Don't do that. Don't, don't do that at all. Because then you'll stay stuck. You know, you'll stay stuck and none of us want to stay stuck. You're not going to make the progress that you're called to make. You're here with the reason and you're here with the purpose. It's up to you to discover it. It's up to you to tap into that, to say, okay, I, 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 was, I was supposed to be here, or I'm supposed to be here, rather, for, for something. What is that? And you've taken 30 years of your life, 40 years of your life, 20 years of your life. I've grown more 
since coming to these realities that I'm telling you about, I've grown more in the last two to two and a half years in general when I started following this man, Mr. Thomas Gordon. And I got around a group of people that helped to change my thinking. They helped to change how I process. They've helped to change how I see myself even. You got to get around the right people. There's, there's a bunch of little things that you could be doing to get yourself there. It's not one thing. It's not one practice. But can I tell you that if you build the habit and if you begin to practice things differently, you'll get different results. Thomas said it a little while ago. You know, he said it. You, you want different results? You got to do something different, my friend. You want change? You've got to change. Your habits and your practices have to change. How you react to things have to change. How you see things has, has to change. But that doesn't change by itself. It starts right here inside of you, inside of your heart, inside of who you are as a person and how you view this entire world. It's not complicated. So let's not complicate it because the world is complicated all on its own. It's very simple. You've looked in the mirror, you're alive this morning, begin to practice some of these things. Tell yourself that you love you. Tell yourself that you love you. Begin to speak positivity over yourself. Begin to read something fruitful that is gonna add to who you are, add to your character, motivate, encourage. Begin to listen to something that is gonna build up something good within you, within your heart, within your persona. Opportunities of growth, of maturity, of change, of progress are within your grasp. You've just got to extend your hand and reach after it. If you sit there in a kumbaya, if you sit there in a, in a uh, you know, everything, it's eventually going to work itself out. You're not really going to get yourself to that place because it takes action. It takes purpose. It takes intent. It takes you saying, I'm going to go after this because I no longer want to be depressed. I no longer want to be sad. I want to be happy. Then get yourself there, my friend. It's within your grasp, but you've got to go for it. You've got to stand up and say, I'm no longer going to be, you know, ducked down in the deep, or I'm no longer going to be on my knees in that sense, but I'm going to stand up and I'm going to keep walking. We may trip. We may stumble. Life may smack us in the face a couple times, you know, might even punch you in the face, but keep moving, keep progressing. Keep progressing. You know why? Because the rate of your existence, the rate of your progress is at 100%. How do I know? You're still alive today. You made it out of yesterday and the day before that and the day before that and the day before that. You made it. So guess what? That means tomorrow you can make it too. But it's up to you. You've got to put action behind all of this. It doesn't work itself out. That's not how this works. Life is not just going to work itself out. You may face resistance, but if you're intentional about your existence, then it'll work itself out because you're taking action. You're putting intentionalness behind it. You're being purposeful in who you are and being purposeful in how you're reacting and how you're moving and how you're growing. And, and, and you're in pursuit of something that you know you, you desire. You know it's built into who you, I want that. Then go after it, my friend. It's attainable. There's no difference between me, you, and anybody else. It's not. We're all flesh and blood. We all came from the dirt. And when we're no longer here, guess what? We're going to go back to the dirt. We're dirt and we're water. <laughs> That's what we are. Be the best damn you that you can be. It's in your grasp. You just got to go after it, man. Love y'all, man. Got to go after it. Make it happen. Rock it out. You are your best version of what you want to be today, what you want to project out, what you want everybody to see and you want to feel. Just make sure it's your authentic self. Don't act like somebody else. Don't be, you know, that person you see on TV. Be you. So when you get your own sitcom one day, are you going to write that autobiography? It's your experiences. It's your journeys. It's the things that you have done that has moved you to where you're at. You can go. Read Mr. Henry Ford's biography, you know, and the things that he has been able to accomplish and didn't able to build that corporation until after he was in his 40s. So why is it that, you know, all the books that I'm reading that most successful men 
did not truly get to where they are until after their 40s. Right? They did not make the greatness. The things didn't happen until after a necessity. Bifocals were not made until it was a necessity. And then he figured out how to put the glass together to be able to see. And that's how bifocals were made. But that's not till he was older. Kentucky Fried Chicken, Ford, and I could probably go on with a multiple of other businesses uh, that have molded this country by the things that they created and did. You have that power within you. Sometimes you have an idea that you might think is so outlandish, so great. Write it down. Rock with it. Because you're the only one that's going to make things happen, like Julio said. We can talk all day. But you got to put some implementation of action into what you're writing down and, and the places and the things that you're wanting to accomplish. Hey, hey, Thomas, guess what? We are a vital part of our future. <laughs> yes. We are a vital part of our future. <laughs> That's it. And the happiness that you have within, that's yours. Can't be stolen, can't be bought, no nothing, can't be covered up. Your happiness, let it shine. Yeah, but everybody else is depressed at work today. Good, let them be depressed. That's their own skin. You are happy within yours, rock yours out. What they're dealing with is not your problem. You do not have to go to work and try to solve their problems for them. Let them dwell within it until they start figuring out the words that they need to speak. And then all you can do is just be nice because your niceness, your smiles changes people's lives. I said it earlier. Why do I say that so often? Because it is the power. The power. Our, our lives, our lives, they speak louder than our words do. Yes. It doesn't matter how great of a speaker you are. If I could sit here and I can tell you guys about all these things. And if I'm living wickedly, what does that say to who I am? What does it say about my character and my morale, my persona? This isn't full of crap. Let your life speak louder than anything you ever say. The things that you do, the actions you take, speak louder. I love it. Miss Crystal, are you around there, Miss Crystal? Are we getting close? I think she stepped away for a second. There she is. Hang on, wait. Hey. She had to go get some more hazelnut. I was topping off my coffee. <laughs> All, right. All right. So good morning, everybody. Um, so are you feeling like life has been weighing you down? Do you feel like you were made for more? Maybe you feel like you're stuck in a redundant cycle that just keeps going round and around. It's time to set some new intentions for you and your daily path because energy grows where intention goes. Start telling yourself clear intentions that you want to manifest happiness naturally. Think it, feel it, do it, act it, share it. I intend to lead by example. If you've got young ones around you, start thinking about the words that you choose and the emotions that you let go and express. Um, I intend to make someone smile every day. Maybe you'll hold a door open for somebody who's coming in behind you at a store, or if you're in the drive-through today getting a coffee, maybe grab the person behind you's coffee for them. Just show that uh, smiles matter. And intend to forgive others, and most importantly, forgive yourself. And make sure that you are happy with the choices that you make, and Self-forgiveness is so important, so make sure that you forgive yourself because we're all learning as we go. Take care, everyone. Powerful part right there. Forgive yourself. Love that. That right there is the biggest part because we blame ourselves for so many things. We put ourselves of regrets of so many times of, oh, I should have done that, or I should have done this, or how could I do that? Or, forgive yourself for some things you do not know. You do not understand yet. You haven't unlocked it yet. But as you unlock, as you, she said a minute ago, we're all growing each day. I love that. Forgive yourself. Believe within yourself. The power is there. We're going to wrap this one up with Miss Shannon this morning. It's been a great day within here, y'all guys and ladies. Every day. Thank you. Go ahead, Shannon. Morning, everybody. 
Whatever it is I want to see different, I embody that change. The outside shifts when the inside shifts. I am aware of what I see and who I am, and I'm aware of my power to change right here, right now. I see the change because I believe it first, because I am it. I attract what I am. And so I seek not to change the world, but to change my mind about the world. Be the change you wish to see in the world. Not changing the world, it's changing the way I see the world. Powerful, she's getting more flow every day with this energy that she has within. One day I can remember we asked her if she wanted to do something on here. And she said, hell no. Little fireball, that's what she is now. <laughs> And then she come in here and said one day that she didn't have the flow to be able to just flow like me and Julio do sometimes. But look at her now. The greatness that is coming out within people because she stepped up and took action to something that she had fear over. And she conquered it and is rocking it every day with y'all within here. And if y'all are not catching her live affirmations that she gives out as well, check out her channel, channel Shannon Cox. She is the one that's giving powerful affirmations to herself and to us every day you could do the same it may assist you just as well to get a flow a better flow within your life a better energy direction within your life so look at the greatness within the leaders that you see on this face these faces that you see on the screen each one of them came from a little bit of fear each one of them came from a little bit of self-doubt what are they doing by coming in here each morning they're giving dedication to tell that self-doubt where to go they're giving dedication to showing up in here to be a better leader in their own life. Knowing what they want and the places where they want to go. Do you know where you want to go? Because we have put a pen to the paper to where we're going within our life, our goals, our visions, our dreams. I'm not living for anybody else on the screen, but for me each day. But I get in here because I have filled my cup up to inspire others to do the same. Rock out the awesomeness that you have within you and let no one affect you. Because their opinions are not paying your bills. Their opinions and their judgments are not moving you in any direction because they are jealous of you because they see the leadership that you have within you. They see the power that you have within you to, you know, to be able to give out. And they don't. And they're jealous. Keep your heads held high, your shoulders back, and know that you are rocking out an awesome day because that is what you expect. You expected a good day? Now go rock out a good day. Keep that smile flowing and nobody else can affect you. Love and appreciate you all. We'll see y'all tomorrow on Life Motivation.